on Elvis. I can't help it. Brown Larry Bird, y'all the 97 Celtics. All brown, everything better than you ever seen. Never have you ever seen anything like it. Do you like it? Oh, I think you like it. Maybe you should buy it. You should probably buy it. Manchu Siri, Queens, New York. Occupation. Uh, full time rapper. Full time rapper. Full time rapper. And band manager. And blogger. Okay. I don't make money on that. That's just for fun. That's just a personal branding issue. Um, you already know who it is. It's your boy. It's the kid. Cool. <laughs> It's the boy, it's, it's the, the kid. kid, it's the boy, it's the kid. It's the child. It's, it's your child, it's your child, Cool AD, aka Lil Moms, aka Big Moms, aka Lil Crutch, aka Sticky. Just AKA, AKA, oh, you got a dad? Oh, that's cool. Occupation? I'm a, I'm a musician. My name is Ashok Kendabola, aka Dap, BKA Chunky Bunch. I'm from Queens. I'm a hype man, I guess, full time, but it's, it's not like there's like five shows a week anymore. So I guess. They're about to be probably. Yeah, true. Jump up and down and uh, scream the last words, the last few words of every uh, bar. Is there um, a little bit of interpretive dancing that, that happens? Sure. Uh, is there? There's a lot of dancing. The, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess in that anything is interpretive dancing. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's kind of more like a spiritual advisor. A real a friendly guy. Yeah, a friendly muse, guy. if you will. A lot of the things he might say in the studio might end up on the record. So he, it's important for him to be in the studio. Well, he actually he hasn't for the last was on in the studio oh, yeah. for the first record. Yes. For the second record, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. Which, for one which track. I think might have hurt my writing because I like stealing his jokes. I'm at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I'm at the Pizza Hut. What? I'm at the Taco Bell. I'm at the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. College. You two met in college? We went to college. Went to Which one? College. We yeah. went to Wesleyan and I met him in, in high school. Friends early on or do you hate each other at first? How did no, it? This is RA. What? Sorry. Really? Mm -hmm. How did you get involved? How did you, how do you know these guys? Uh, I've known him since high school, since 1999. Um, we went to a specialized math and science high, high school, school in downtown Manhattan. We back in Manhattan. Yes. Um, nothing. When they started out doing their first couple shows in November, December 2008 as DR, as Us Racist, and January 2009 as Lancer, whatever, it was just a lot of drinking was involved in the shows. There were, there were no stakes, or sometimes no pay. So it would be like, hey, why don't you get on stage? And I was just consistently there. We're not joking, just joking. We are joking, just joking. We're not joking. I feel like this is... It's just such an identity project that it's like this, we've always dealt with that kind of life about like, oh, are you being serious or not? And it's like, well, everything is kind of serious and everything isn't serious and I don't know how to, I mean, every everything is serious even when it's I a become, joke. When I'm talking about very serious things, uh, you know, serious things or say racism or something that's bothering me, like in the political front. I find it really hard, except sometimes late at night or when I'm just tired, to just talk about it the way that normal yeah, people I mean, do. You know. I get a real sense of like, me. I well, feel Well, because it's also like, I think it's like a lot of the time everyone kind of feels almost exactly the same. Yeah, exactly. If, if, you're, if you're even talking about it, then yes. you're in a room with everyone that more or less agrees with you, and then it's always a thing of semantics, so a joke is actually yes. a more it's concise. It's like, it's a way of talking expresses. about it in a way where people might actually, if you can joke about something, yeah. It's a means of like deeper truth you know, and stuff like, in an entertaining way and it's concise and, and it makes it very clear what I mean. And also just an easier way to talk about stuff that's pretty frustrating and like just it will bring you down if you talk about it too much. So yeah, I mean, yeah. What do you care about? Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out for my mom, yo. Uh, <laughs> sleeping, eating, I like my family alright. Uh, Smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't, you know. Four ten, everything. All brown, man. Sound, man. Sit down, man. Sit down, man. All brown skin.
young melanin Melly Mel melding malleable my metal sh** also, what, well, come on, what are you, like, you're not gonna yeah, be yeah. funny? What are you, whack? You, yeah. you know, <laughs> most, people, most people aren't funny, most people yeah. aren't funny would like to be, but they're just not clever enough. Was there uh, a so deliberate good. attempt to ladle on as much humor as possible because otherwise your sort of hyper-literate rap style would come off as, I don't know, pretentious, douchey? Yeah, yeah kind of, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if it's uh, like, um, none, nothing in this project is like, we're setting out to do this. So we don't go, this is what this rap song is about. It's just like, I type on my computer, you type on your computer, we go to a studio, and the way that and it happens to work out together, yeah. and then that's the way the song is. My mom thinks John Starks. She was, well, she was a huge Knicks fan. Uh, it's probably because he likes. Let me see. Well, yeah, Jeter. You're right. <laughs> <laughs>